Okay, for this demonstration, we're gonna look at the effects of water vapor on air pressure. So for this lab setup, what I have back here is a pop can. In the pop can is boiling water. So inside the can, there will be more water vapor. Here in this bin, I just have an ice water bath so that I can seal the top of the can um, so that we can see what will happen if there is water vapor inside the can, more water vapor inside the can than outside the can. So higher water vapor inside the can, lower water vapor in the classroom. Let's see what happens. This is what happened. And there was so much, so little uh, pressure inside the can that it actually sucked up a bunch more water. So where there was higher water vapor inside the can, there was less water vapor inside the classroom. And so where there was higher water vapor, we had lower air pressure and the can was crushed. If you get a really good one, which this one was okay, it can crush it as much as that. That was one I did earlier today where it actually twisted the can as well as uh, as well as crushing it. You can tell I didn't squeeze it because when I squeeze it, it only squeezes in a, like here I squeeze this can here. It only squeezes in one section and you can actually see the line where my tongs went across there. Um, whereas the cans that were crushed by using water vapor are crushed all over. So, Higher water vapor, lower air pressure.